What's going on, YouTube? Look at this, straight freaking down, man. Come on. Why you gotta do this to me? Every day it's like roller coaster city. Crazy volatility. This market is nuts. Nuts, I tell you. All right, let's talk about what we got on. Just some small trades, nothing major. I was able to get some. Ooh, I should have put two of those on. Two of what, Eric? I sold covered calls on this. Um, wow. Right here. I was able to get a covered call. Sold for one contract. Okay, so look here. Options. One contract. It says negative 18 current value. Um, Two dollar return, ten percent. Why? Because I sold it for twenty dollars. I was able to sell a three dollar call, expiring June nineteenth, for twenty dollars. So think about this: this stock is a dollar eighty six at the time, eighty five. Someone paid me twenty dollars to say. Hey, on June 19th, I want the right to buy 100 shares at $3. What a great deal. <laughs> what a great deal. Now, obviously, if it goes really, really high, I'm kind of bummed out. At the same time, I'm more than making up money, you know, on this on this stock. So that's the beauty of a cover call. Great way to start in your portfolio if you're just getting started with options trading, covered calls, and selling puts. That's why I have two, like you can see, 230 shares. GameStop. Why? Because I sold, uh, I sold a put, and was assigned. And look, it's finally not acting weird. This thing was like way. No, well not wait. It was just oversold for too long. This whole period is just oversold. Let's see if we bull. Let's see if I can figure this out. Come on, show me the money. Show me the money, we bull. Oh yeah. Now I'm on the wrong. Okay. This is a one minute chart. Hold on. Five minute, no. Fifteen. No. One hour? No. I gotta figure this out. I gotta figure Weeball out. I got a friend who's pretty good at it, so I will chase that down. But this was oversold and I knew it because I've I've held it for a long time and I've watched the price move. Guys, in the past year, look at this. In the past year. It was up at 650, you know, and it was trading down at what, what, what was it, 3, 350, I was like, I know this isn't right. My big play on this, if you guys haven't heard yet, for GameStop, because look at analyst ratings, not great. My big play on this, new Xbox and PlayStation consoles being released. Every time that's happened, huge spike. Huge spike. So, that's my play. If I'm wrong, oh well. Not too upset. Uh, silver and gold are going up. Good. They should be. Or cannabis continues traveling down. Bumming me out. Just bumming me out. I don't know if I should just sell out at this point or average down or just hold. I'm kind of thinking I'm just going to hold. I don't really want to increase my exposure there. Mm, what else we got going on? Tesla, getting cheaper. Guys, this is what's happening with the markets too. Everything's getting cheaper. Cheaper, cheaper, cheaper. You see red? Think, oh, everything's on sale. All right? Buy the fear, sell the greed. Let me show you a trade that I was really happy with myself. 
for doing. Okay, look, we will go, yep, right at the top here. Okay, so yesterday bought 236 SPY, which is S&P 500, put for nine cents per share. Expiring 311. Wasn't sure if this would work out, but I said, hey, I talked about doing a portfolio insurance. I'm just gonna buy at my price. My price is about eight or nine cents a week. I can buy at that, I can buy uh, a put on the broad market for eight or nine cents a week. And if it doesn't give me any return, I'm not upset. Great, right? Well, look what happened. Middle of the day, things were looking pretty poor. Coronavirus still scaring people. A lot of volatility. It spiked up. I was able to sell it for 23 cents. Think about that. I bought it in the morning, $9. Sold it in the afternoon, 23 cents. Or $23, I'm sorry. So, not too bad. $14 return on that. I thought it was 24 I thought I sold it for 24 I got to put a limit on that, a limit price on that, instead of just doing a market order. But hey, returns return. Bought it for 9 sold it for 23 all in a day. Not bad. I could have bought 100 contracts. Could have made $1,400. I don't know yet if... I don't know yet how that will tag me um, in terms of like day trading. Let's see. Day trades one. Oh, okay, I did get caught for that. <laughs> I don't know how to unlock it or pattern deep. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some research on that and then I'll get back to you guys on that. If you know, let me know. Um, but that was a great move for me. So we have Silver J, Junior Silver Miners. We have a contract that's the closest one out, March 20th. So I bought this, I believe, or I'm sorry, I sold this put for $50. So honestly, I hope it stays under 10. It's a $10 strike. I hope it stays under 10 because I would love 100 shares of this. I would love 100 shares of this. I think it's so undervalued right now. So my cost basis for those 100 shares would be $9.50. Oh my gosh, please give me some. Why? Why? I was just holding this recently. $12.50. And that's on nothing. That's just on flux. Flux of the market. Imagine when rates go to zero, which they will. Imagine when we hit the next recession, which we will. At some point, we will. Two years after, this could easily be... Guys, here's the thing about... I've talked... I've, you probably are so sick of hearing me say this, but... Here's the thing about the miners. Their companies operating... A lot of these junior miners are just breaking even in terms of profitability. Some are bleeding money. Not good, right? It all depends on silver spot price, which has been going up. So it's helped out a lot of these companies. But we haven't seen... Look at this. What happened in October, August? We had a, we had a recession scare, remember? 2016? It was up to 19. 19, 20 dollars. And that was unconfirmed scare. 20 dollars. So at least I'm going to double. But I tell you what. Since these companies operate based on silver spot, the higher silver spot goes, the more profitable they become. What do you do with profits? You either retain them, you either reinvest them, you either buy back shares, or you produce dividends. All four of those scenarios are great for a shareholder. Absolutely fantastic. So, I am super long. Super, super bullish on this. I should be I should be more long. I should have more. So I hope, I hope March 20th rolls around. This thing is sitting at $9 and 
90 cents. I want to get it signed. Of course. If I don't, I'll probably put a position on that's like way too obvious. Like I'll probably sell a $12 put. Something something crazy where I know, I know I'll get it signed. Okay. Uh, and then after that, not much. I got a, <laughs> got a terrible... Ooh, don't talk to me about this one. Winners and losers, guys. Got a terrible bet here. One contract, I bought a call. APLE, that's a R-E-I-T, acronyms all day. Real Estate Investment Trust. So let's see, A-P-L-E, here. Oh man, this is, I don't really know why this is getting crushed. So I'm not gonna lie, I think I bought it, no. Yeah, I bought the call here. So it's kind of at support, not really confirmed yet. Nope. Definitely not. Definitely not confirmed. Still going down. So this is selling off with the broader market. 50-50 on analyst. Earnings are good. It's a great company. I mean, look at the dividend yield. You want a dividend yielding, uh, a high dividend yield stock to own. This is a great one. 9%. 9.181. So unfortunately, I'm just I just bought a call. Um, there's no assignment, so I I I am I'm long essentially without earning the dividend. So this is a a play that I probably wouldn't make again. What I would do in the future: sell a put or just buy some shares. I don't know I don't know what got in my head like it was a good idea to buy a call on this. Who knows? Tell you what, though, if it gets back up here, 16, I'm making some money. We'll see. What do we got till March 20th again on that? Okay. And after that, we got more GameStop. Got a $4 put. I don't know. We'll see. Big spike up. We'll see what happens with that prefer not to own more shares. I would like to get some of my collateral back. Um, what's that, one contract? Yeah. So I'd like to get that $400 back. So guys, if you if you have a small account, you sell a put, it's a $4 put, $4 strike price, you're putting up $400 of collateral saying, I'll put up the money to cover in case I need to buy 100 shares. That's all that means. If you have a margin account or a uh, like TD Ameritrade, Thinkorswim, or E-Trade, or anything like that, they offer you some level of margin, so your collateral essentially isn't going to be the full amount. With Robinhood, it is. It just depends on your brokerage. And you can also negotiate this, I mean, just like negotiating broker fees. If you have some experience, you've been trading for a while, I would call up your broker and talk to him about the fees, see if you can negotiate. Mention how the competitor across the street has zero commission, zero fees on options trading, and then just, you know, negotiate down. AMD, I'm still excited about this one. We got an iron condor. This, this, this spiked, AMD spiked huge what was the news on AMD does it say here on Robinhood oh yeah they did some shares rise 5% after hours as company sticks to outlook amid coronavirus fears so they I don't know if they posted a statement or this came with earnings the company affirmed its guidance said it expects a modest effect on the company's results from the coronavirus outbreak we're going to see more of this type of narrative here soon because, the yes, coronavirus is scary and it's spreading and it's, like, hitting cities that we didn't expect and people are very sick and there's probably a higher affection rate than we think. However, who's dying from sicknesses? The old, the people who had prior conditions... Um, not to be insensitive, but the weak are dying. Um, I don't think it's 
pandemic. I mean, if you look back, like SARS was huge, right? Bird flu was huge. Uh, Zika virus was huge. This seems bigger right now because people wrote it off. People wrote it off initially, and it came out of China. Anything that comes out of China is so suspect. I don't mean to be anti-Chinese or anything like that. It's just suspect because they, they do a good job of protecting their information and only putting out what they, what they allow, you know, very controlled system, which is good and bad, good for the country, good for the economy, because, uh, well, initially good for the economy, but when it, when it came out, it was worse than they thought, it was bad for the economy. Who knows? Who knows about that? Bitcoin. I haven't done anything with Bitcoin. Three month chart. Ten grand. Seven thousand two hundred. I thought at one point this would be going down to about four or five thousand. I don't know when or if or if it's possible that will happen. If it does, I might be interested in buying more at this point don't really care too much I am definitely more along gold and silver and I believe in that uh, Bitcoin is very difficult for me to understand I'm not a tech I'm not a computer engineer it's just so volatile that owning it, trading it it's not in my interest at this point I say that <laughs> and then I got Tesla which is like crazy volatile up down, up down, up down, up down Let's see about this. So we got support at 700. We're still up 91%. There is news every day about the company that is positive. Wow, I didn't expect that. 45% say sell it. Interesting. Can't wait to prove you all wrong. All right, I think that's all I got for today. Oh, did I show you guys futures? Should start the video with that. I try to have a more of a system so that you guys know what to expect each time. Yep, we're down further. So I'm probably not gonna be able to buy a put um, for anything reasonable. It's gonna be too expensive. So I'm gonna hold out and wait on that. Uh, let's see. And gold is up modestly. Not huge. Okay. I think that's all time high. Not I'm sorry, not all time. Five year high? Seven year high? Something like that. Let's see. Let's pull up the chart. Yep. Twenty fourteen. Six year high. Pretty good. Silver is not it's kinda lagging gold right now. Oh, oops, sorry guys. I mean, look at it. <laughs> Not doing much. Why do you think I'm long silver? This is crazy. Oh my gosh, this is probably even better. Gold silver ratio. 96! Guys, buy silver. I'm telling you. Whatever, whatever form you can buy silver, hit... Here's, I'll give you three options. I'll give you three options right now. SLV, Silver Trust. Very safe, paper, paper-wise, very safe. Not as volatile. You won't get as much of a rise. Let's go to all-time chart. I should get a max here. So, I mean, it tracks. It basically, it basically will track just below the actual silver spot. So if silver goes to 100, it should go to about 90. Makes sense? That's your safe bet. Why? Because it doesn't go down unless silver spot goes down. Very safe. You want a leverage play? I've already shown you. Silver J, Junior Silver Miners, or, or SIL which is not, it's a minor, but it's not junior. 
This is what might happen too. You guys got to be aware of this. These guys, these are the players in, that have been there a while. They have established mining operations. They're profitable. They don't need silver to go up very much to make money. If silver does start to pop, what might happen? These companies got too much capital. What do they do with it? They go to the juniors and they buy them out. So, that's great for juniors. That's why I'm in it. That's why I'm in this. That's why I'm in this. The other thing is physical. I recommend uh, is it JD? JM. JM is one of my favorites. JM Bullion, you can buy physical. You're really worried about market meltdown, coronavirus, anything like that. This is great. You can get... Here's what I recommend. Don't go shopping. Don't go in here and go shopping. You're going to spend way too much. You want to get as close to spot as possible. So, great way to do it. Go to rounds. Go to... Just be simple. One ounce. It's going to give you price low to high. Low to high. Don't pay attention to that. That's not, that on sale thing. Okay, look at Varied condition. $18. And then you got your Buffalo. And your Lady Liberty. $18.20. Stackable Buffalo. $18.20. Stackable Morgan, eighteen twenty. Liberty Bell, eighteen twenty. What's the spot right now? Seventeen fifty. So, if you're like me, you want to get it as cheap as possible. You don't care what it is. The condition doesn't really matter much, which it won't. If you're trading it in, it won't matter that much. Check it out. You can get in seventeen fifty. Let's see. I want to buy ten of them. E check wire eighteen eighty nine. So dollar thirty above spot. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's say you want to buy jewelry for the wife. Go to Manet. Well, you can't buy silver with Manet, but you can you can buy something that's an investment. I love this. I wish I could uh, refer it. Why do I love Manet? It's pure gold. Twenty four karat. So what are you buying? You're buying an investment. I never think I'm buying jewelry when I buy Monet. Oh, I don't want Monet X. Shop. Anything you want. Let's just look. Bracelets. Check this out. 24 karat gold. It gives you the weight. 86.08 grams. Gold value. It gives you the gold value. And guess what? Monet will buy it back from you. So if gold goes up right now 1680, if it goes up to 2000, trust me, you're going to make money on this. Um, you can just assume that they take a 20% surcharge, 20% uh, like finder's fee or jewelry crafting fee. So you're 20% over spot. If you go on one of the websites like JM Bullion or SD Bullion, you're going to be about uh, what is it? Probably 5 to 10% over spot. So, get into it. That's my recommendation. Get in silver if you can. If you, if you, if you cannot or if you want to buy jewelry for the wife, go to Monet, buy some gold. Same thing with gold. Gold has the same sort of stocks. This is Gold Miners GDX. This is Junior Gold Miners GDXJ. And you have GLD, which is the trust very safe very safe doing very well tracks gold spot to a T just slightly under it right if you consider like gold 1680 you just divide by 10 this would be 1580 just slightly under that's all I got for today guys thanks for watching tune in for the next one hit the like button subscribe and leave a comment peace